We are going to now have a mini edit, and our speaker is going to be Trevor Marples to lead us to that one right up now. Up. Trevor. Thank you very much once again, Madam Chairman. Good morning, fellow Toastmasters, and Tim, our guest, and Megan, welcome back. How many of us are petrified by technology? Yes, I hear you. I've been there. And I'm here to, this morning to bring you to the other side of here. <laughs> Using the projector and PowerPoint slides is a fantastic way to enhance your speeches and your presentation by incorporating visual aids. And many of us may be a bit afraid to do so because we're not sure how it all works together. So this morning I'm going to show you exactly how to set up the projector and to ensure everything is ready to run smoothly. As you know, if this isn't done correctly, it can really break a speech as much as it can make it. So the very first thing you'll need to know is to be sure you arrive early to make sure that the teleprompter or the what do you call this thing? The projector <laughs> is set up before you're being introduced, whether this be first thing in the morning or at the break before the speeches. And you don't want to be trying to put this together while you're being introduced. And you don't want that long, dead silence as the audience sits and waits for you to get your visual aids all set up. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get power. <laughs> attach it to your computer. Now, if you have an Apple computer, you will need one of these handy-dandy adapters. As of the club, we have the cord that comes with the projector, but we do not have the adapter. So if you don't have the adapter, talk to me or ask one of the executive, but we'll be sure to make sure that you have one. So, of course, attach that, and it'll take a moment for it to uh, warm up here. Now, the next thing to be aware of is to obviously focus the projector. Now it's already in focus here, but you can see it can be in and out of focus. So just by moving this focus ring at the top, for sure. And there's a little hot shoe at the bottom that will make sure that it's positioned correctly, uh, whether it's high enough or low enough or straight. And then, let's see, now that I've got it all set up, and click that. And there you go. Those are my slides. Now, I'm going to jump ahead a bit here. Okay, so blah, 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 blah. now to change slides, it's often important to have a remote. And as some of us have seen this club, not having a remote can make it very difficult to change slides because then you are now anchored right here for your entire speech versus being able to move about the room and do whatever you like and be able to access the slides from there. If you do not have one of these, it is totally acceptable to have somebody that is changing the slides for you, just sitting off to the side and you give them a little nod and they change the slides, versus you have to change it yourself. And we've done that, I've done that with someone in the club before and it's worked wonderfully. The lighting, now as you can see, everyone in this room can see the slides, as long as I'm not standing in the way, sir, uh, with the lights the way they are, so we don't need to turn the lights off. And I usually will avoid dimming the lights if I can, because then the audience isn't able to see me. And depending on what the slides are, for most speeches, the slides are only an enhancement to your presentation, not the main feature. So you want to make sure the attention is still on you when you're not standing in the dark. Another important thing that I learned the hard way is to make sure you have external speakers if you're playing any music or playing a video because usually the speakers on a computer are not loud enough to fill up the whole room. And of course, it's also important to make sure that you have a power source that, that is able to plug into, whether that be a power bar or including the extension cord. And the last fun thing that I've had trouble with in the past and finally figured out is the presenter's view. Now, you are all seeing the slides that I want you to see. However, I see something totally different. I see this. It's got my notes, it has my time, and everything. So 
know, sometimes when you first plug in the slides, it'll, this will actually show up, and you don't want the audience to see it like this. So to do so, all you need to make sure is that it is switched. I can't even really see what I'm doing here. <laughs> but at the top here, there's a little button that says swap display, and that'll switch it back around so that they're not peeking at all your notes. And the last thing is making sure that the slides have visible colors that are easily seen. So, uh, hey, give it a go!